What's up guys? This is Token. This is something a little bit different for me. I'm doing, I guess what you would call a preview or a commentary on Black Desert Online. I initially wasn't going to do videos like this, but a friend put up a video yesterday of Black Desert Online of his gameplay. And it looked nice, and I asked him what he was using to record it. So he goes, Oh, I was using Shadowplay. To my knowledge, Shadowplay, how it's recording is about 720p, 60fps, and the cap is 20 minutes. And I asked him, so do you have you tried using OBS? And he says, no, I haven't tried it yet, but I'll check it out. So I figured I'll actually put up a video showing him my settings of how I record video game footage from PC or game catcher cards or whatever and I'll post a link in the description of what I'm using so bear with me if I mess up anywhere around here so we're gonna go ahead and start the game server I believe I'm on is Edan uh, that was overrun so let's go to Minia 2 So the character I went with was a tamer, which apparently has a uh, healing class abilities from what I was reading from the description, as I main a healer in Final Fantasy XIV, White Mage level 60, Scholar level 53, and Astrologer is 51. So I figured I'd go with healer in this game too, as I also went healer and Aurora Kingdom as well, like 46 before I said fuck that game. But we'll start with this. My only complaint is that you can't actually choose the sex of the character that's for the class. Which is kind of weird, but we'll just go with it right now. So let's click to the game. And during the loading screen, it loads the maps of what you saw and it goes with people that you've met and monsters that you killed because uh, when you kill monsters and you meet people in the game it keeps track of those people and the monsters you killed and it gives you a little description of what it is so here's the inside of the game let's let's get this out of my face so this is my character actually in game and I actually play with a controller because it actually gives you controller support. But the controller support for this game is kind of wonky. Like it's fine for combat. Your square is your regular attack. Triangle is a skill. Circle, a second skill. And X is jump. But when you kill monsters, like I kill monsters here, if he drops anything, you have to pick it up with the right stick button which is kind of weird in a sense they could have just delegated that to X so I'd rather have X as a jump button and your dodge is actually double tap with the stick even forward back left or right so other than that I guess it's fine oh and uh I guess L2 or our, uh, um, left trigger for Xbox players is your hover skill. So let's pick this up. Or let's cut the tree instead of picking it up. Because fuck me. Pick it up. Thank you. So, game has a day and night cycle system, which is kind of nice. I actually did a recording of this earlier, but I ended up doing a record, re-record, because one, it was really dark, and two, I got lost in the quest for like 15 minutes, which doesn't really show much of the game, but he's level one, so he's going to die immediately, and let's go into the menu and show some stuff off, so... There's a help option, there's the hotkeys, there's crafting, 
there's the money shop, which I can actually say the stuff in this shop is actually fucking expensive as fuck. It doesn't even make sense. I guess they just put it over from the Korean and Russian version, which kind of sucks because everything's expensive. And if you try to buy money, like, let's go to a recharge. It's not going to show on your screen, but it'll show on mine. Basically, to get a thousand damn cash, dom cash is what they call it, it's ten dollars. So it goes up to, I guess, ten thousand dom cash, which is a hundred dollars, which to me is kind of excessive for a game, especially when you have stuff that you have mounts that um, there was a mount that I saw. Yeah, mount that costs twenty dollars by itself for a good mount, and then. You have all these mounts down here, but they're kind of like good shitty mounts, if, as that's what you want to call it. Like a mount is a mount, I guess, but I guess the higher price it goes up, the better looking it is. Furniture for your house, costumes. I can become a tree giant or a tree camouflage fuck, something like that. Then you can buy the outfits that was in the, the game when you first tested the game. When you first uh, create your character, it gives you a set of costumes. One for your class, some for your class, and others that's just regular costumes. And uh, the class specific ones, I believe, you can actually uh, buy it from here. But there's a possibility that you could just, you know get it from the store normally. Ooh, swimsuit. 20 bucks. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. You get Chun-Li dumpling headset, uh, headsets. Glasses, though. Glasses is amazing. I love glasses. What the fuck is that? Okay. So we're gonna get out of this. Shop looks nice. Uh, you can also buy, buy more expansion slots for your inventory, increase your weight limit to hold more items, combat skill resets, awakening resets. You revive immediately. Like in this game, when you die, um, level 10, you can revive immediately for free. But after that, you have to. Uh, I think it's like a three to five minute waiting period, or you go some, uh, you go back to town or something like that to revive there. But you can buy these potions to revive immediately right then and there. So that's nice. But loyalty items, I don't know how these work yet. So I guess you uh, get loyalty from other places, then you lose your loyalty to buy this. There's pearls to get. You can buy pearls or whatever. There's new stuff and then promotions or whatever. So let's exit out of this. There's also Guild Wars and stuff too, but I'm not in the Guild Gym because I'm still like level 9. And you can change the day and night cycles and how your character looks. I'm assuming there's supposed to be stuff behind here, but they didn't. It's either my version downloaded wrong, or they just didn't implement it yet. Either way, it seems like there's supposed to be something behind this blue wall, so we'll just leave it like that to blind everybody. You can go to beauty and customize your character after you made your character, but it requires pearls to do that. As it shows right here. So you get pearls, you can do what you want. Here's a costume section I was telling you about where you can try your costumes. I don't have a helmet, so it doesn't matter. I personally want to get the blue costume, but hopefully later when I get money. There's you and your birthday suit. 
white, the costume I'm wearing now, and then the gold yellow. So let's get out of this. There's a die section where I think you can die your costume to whatever you want to die it to. Like I said, I haven't progressed that far in the game, so I can't do anything yet. So let's skip out of here. Let's get out of this right here. Uh, there's the combine, which I guess is a uh, melding or whatever. Yeah, oh, it's combining die. Okay. So. When you get that, you can do that. There's your pet. Character profiles. Shows you your basic information, your HP, your MP, your weight. Of This is what you're holding right now. This is what you can maximally hold. AP, I don't know what it does yet. Uh, your DP, stamina, I don't know what DP is yet. I guess you can train to get your stamina up higher. Sorry about that. Uh, shows the titles. I haven't done anything yet, so there's that. Journal. It keeps track of everything you've done, all the quests you've done, when you achieve your levels. Which is pretty, it's pretty cool. That's nice. A list of, I guess, tasks that you can daily do, whatever. I guess achieving level 10, you get this, level 20, level 30, level 40. Level 60, I guess, is the level cap at the, in this game, which is nice. Because level cap at 14 went from 50 to 60 with the new expansion, so that's cool. Play seven days in a row, I guess. It's either seven days, um, it might not be, be seven days in a row, but it's probably um, just seven days in total. Play every day, I can claim something, apparently. And I'll take my claims. Oh, so that's how you receive loyalty. Okay, that's what that is. Okay, that's nice. So I can eventually buy stuff next year. There's events, so that's done. That's out. And, uh, and it tracks your time and how long you've played. So, since I'm level 9, I haven't been doing much in this game at all. I only have an hour and 12 minutes. But I know people who already have, like, level 30, level 40 characters. Level 50, because in reality, in any MMO, you can usually hit cap within a week. And people have been going hardcore in this game. So, let's get out of that. There's your black spirit, which for right now, I think this is the guy that's been giving me the quest. So, hopefully, I'll get more quests eventually. There's a regular quest log, shows your basic stuff of what quest you got. Your black spirit. So, I'll probably have to go back to town eventually and pick up actual story quest. Because I'm not sure how that works out yet. So, let's get out of this. Your skill, your skill grid, where you have your basic skills showing up. From C rank skills, to D ranks, to B rank, to A rank, to other rank, which I'm assuming is S rank. And some amazing. Or it might be just a class on its own, I'm not sure. But... Then you have some skills that can lower from C rank all the way to A rank, depending on how much you use it. Like, Leaf Slash is my basic normal attack. So I guess it increases the damage of it eventually, once I get around to upgrading it. And then you have other class skills that eventually level up as well. So there's that. It looks kind of interesting. When you level up, I think you get like a skill point or two each time you level up that allows you to level up everything so eventually I'll, I'll learn the skills to find out how to uh, get my uh, healing spells or whatever so there's that 
uh, there's processing, I guess, uh, mining and stuff, fishing, the knowledge system that I talked about earlier, which is basically stuff that you ran, the stuff you ran into, if I can never, if I just open it, okay, products, life skills, I guess the ecology, the uh, ecology, ah. Shows you the monsters you ran into, little stories, little information about them. I guess there's an achievement to unlock once you do that. So, there's that. Let's get out of this. Please. Control room, please. Okay. I'm gonna hit escape. Alright. Uh, escape brings you back from wherever you're at to the closest safe point. Your friendship, your mail. I don't know what this does yet. This is the marketplace, which everything is already infatuated, but it is what it is on that. But that's nice. You can actually access the marketplace from your menu. But it's kind of annoying in Final Fantasy XIV where every time I needed something from the market board, I had to go to certain towns to do so. So it's kind of nice that you have it in your menu, just access it straight from there. Uh, edit UI, guild rank, ranking, notice, conquest, settings, language, channel, you can switch channels, in case if you have a laggy channel, you can switch to a different channel on that same server. And then I guess I'll just go do basic video settings. Gives you the option of full screen, full screen window, window mode, different resolutions, different high, uh, goes up to very high, very high on this too. You can show blood, I'll actually go turn that on. Show, I guess it's showing blood on the screen. Screen filter, high end mode. Let's supply this. Let's see how that works out. Actually, in high end mode, probably drops my FPS down to forty nine fifty. I'm currently running. I'm currently running uh, the i five forty five seventy. And a GTX 970 in my video card. So let's see how high end works out eventually. But just your gamer, camera settings, and stuff like that. And you can also change the format of how you change your pictures, which is kind of nice. That works out a little bit well. So let's get out of that. Oh, also, gives you the option to use your game controller like I'm using now. I'm using a PS4 controller input you can change your buttons to how you like it which I sh should change it because uh, I'll probably put jump on the right bumper stick or uh, right analog stick button and change the pickup items to X because that'll be convenient okay and let's get out of this I don't want to do that but unless I want, I also want to change dodge as well. But let's look around for stuff for a bit. Why does it keep doing that? Look around at some stuff. Um, I'm supposed to be going over here. I also need to actually keybind the dash button to my. Uh, I think I want to say R, R1 or L1, so it's more convenient. And you run faster when you're out of combat. I'm starting to notice. So these arrows uh, point to quest markers and stuff like that. And... You can actually change how they point it to you. I personally chose the arrows, but you can also have a path lighting up to where you're supposed to be going. 
you can have Navi look alike guide you to your direction or you can just turn the notifications off so you can just figure it out yourself if you're so pleased to do so. There's combat zones and stuff where I guess you slow down running when you enter combat zones. And the monsters that you're supposed to kill have quest objectives on them, so you know that you're supposed to kill them. Like I said, I was just showing off the video of how the game looks using my Lossless settings, which is pretty nice. And this is kind of sort of commentary to explain stuff, how the game works, and whatever. Or more of menu stuff, there's combat settings. So hopefully I can get around to doing more of these and they'll be more refined and shorter. Because 23 minutes is actually too much to explain stuff. But I didn't realize that actually happened. But for for now, I'll see everybody later. Thank you for watching. And if you have any comments or complaints, just let me know in the comment section. And I will comment accordingly. And like I said, I'll put down the information for my loss of settings in the description. So you can set it yourself. Until then, I will see everybody later. Everybody have a nice day or night. See ya.